You wake up exhausted, even though you slept eight hours. You have a to-do list, but you can't make yourself start. You scroll your phone for hours, feeling guilty the entire time. And everyone around you, maybe even you, thinks the same thing. I'm just lazy. But what if I told you that's not what's happening at all? What if your brain isn't broken? It's just stuck in a survival state that looks like laziness, but is actually a biological shutdown. Today, I'm going to show you seven signs that you're not lazy. You're frozen. And by the end of this video, you'll finally understand why you feel stuck, even when you desperately want to move forward. Here's what most people don't know about trauma. It doesn't just show up as flashbacks or panic attacks. Sometimes it shows up as nothing. You look fine on the outside. You might even be high-functioning. But inside, your nervous system is running a program called freeze. You've heard of fight or flight. But freeze is what happens when your brain decides fighting won't work and escaping isn't possible. So it does the only thing left. It shuts you down. And here's the cruel part. Freeze doesn't feel like fear. It feels like apathy, like laziness, like you just don't care anymore. But that's not what's happening. Let me show you the seven signs your body is stuck in freeze mode and why each one is biological, not personal failure. Sign number one. You're exhausted all the time, but you can't actually rest. You're tired but wired. Here's the science. Your nervous system has two modes. Sympathetic, the gas pedal, fight or flight. Parasympathetic, the brake pedal, rest and digest. When you're in freeze, both pedals are pressed at the same time. Your sympathetic system is screaming danger. But your parasympathetic system is holding you down, saying, don't move, play dead. This is called tonic immobility in the research, and it's why you feel that specific combination, tired in your body, wired in your mind. You can't sleep because your amygdala thinks you're still in danger, but you can't move because your body has shut down to survive. If this is you, you're not lazy. Your nervous system is stuck between two survival states. Sign number two. You procrastinate on tasks that should take five minutes. Not big, scary tasks. Small ones. Replying to a text, opening your mail, washing a dish. You know you should do it. You want to do it, but you can't. Here's what's happening in your brain. When your nervous system is in freeze, your prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain that makes decisions and takes action, goes offline. This is called dorsal vagal shutdown. Your vagus nerve has two branches, ventral, safety, and connection. Dorsal, shutdown, and collapse. When trauma puts you into dorsal mode, your brain literally can't access the energy needed for decision-making. It's not that you don't care. It's that your brain has diverted all energy away from doing and into surviving. And the tasks that feel impossible? They're usually tasks that require vulnerability. Texting someone back, what if they judge you? Opening mail, what if it's bad news? Starting a project, what if you fail? Your freeze response isn't laziness. It's your brain trying to protect you from perceived danger. Sign number three. You don't feel sad. You don't feel anything. People with freeze don't cry during sad movies. They don't get excited about good news. They feel... Nothing. Here's the biology. When your nervous system stays in freeze for too long, it numbs your emotions as a protective mechanism. This is called dissociation or emotional blunting. Your brain literally disconnects from your body to avoid feeling the pain of the threat. But it can't selectively numb just the bad feelings. When you numb fear, you also numb joy. When you shut down pain, you also shut down love. You become functionally depressed, not because of a chemical imbalance, but because your nervous system has put you into conservation mode. If you feel like you're just going through the motions, this is why. You're not broken. You're in emotional hibernation. Sign number four. Your body feels physically heavy, like you're moving through mud. This isn't regular tiredness. It's a bone-deep exhaustion that sleep doesn't fix. Here's the science. Freeze creates something called collapsed immobility. 
Your muscles are simultaneously tense, ready to fight, and collapsed, unable to move. A study from the Trauma Research Foundation found that people in chronic freeze show 40% more muscle tension than controls, 30% slower reaction times, and significantly higher levels of inflammation. Your body is literally holding the freeze response in your tissue. That heaviness you feel? That's unprocessed survival energy that has nowhere to go. Your body wanted to run or fight, but couldn't. So it stored that energy as tension, fatigue, and pain. If your body feels heavy, you're not out of shape. You're holding trauma. Sign number five. Tiny things send you into a spiral. Someone interrupts you and you want to rage quit your job. Your Wi-Fi glitches and you feel like crying. A friend cancels plans and you spiral into nobody likes me. Here's what's happening. When you're in freeze, your window of tolerance, the amount of stress you can handle, shrinks. A healthy nervous system can handle minor frustrations, unexpected changes, social friction, but a frozen nervous system interprets everything as life or death. Why? Because you're already at maximum capacity just trying to survive. You're using all your energy just to function. So when something small happens, it's not actually small. It's the thing that tips you over the edge. If small things feel unbearable, it's not because you're dramatic. It's because your nervous system has no buffer left. Sign number six. You feel like you're watching your life from outside your body. You're physically present but mentally checked out. This is called dissociation, and it's one of the most common signs of freeze. Here's the biology. When a threat is inescapable, your brain does something radical. It disconnects your consciousness from your body so you don't have to feel what's happening. This is an incredible survival mechanism in the moment of trauma. But if it becomes your default, you lose access to physical sensations, hunger, pain, pleasure, emotional cues, gut feelings, intuition, presence. You're never fully here. You feel like you're living life on autopilot. You look down at your hands, and they don't feel like yours. You have conversations, but don't remember them later. This is called depersonalization, and it's not psychosis. It's your brain's last-ditch effort to protect you from overwhelm. If you feel disconnected from your body, you're not losing your mind. Your mind left your body to protect you, and it hasn't come back yet. War by chapter 9 through 30. Sign number seven, you're productive, responsible, and high-functioning, but you feel absolutely nothing. This is the sign that surprises people the most. Because isn't freeze supposed to make you unable to function? Not always. Some people freeze by collapsing, but others freeze by performing. This is called functional freeze or fawn freeze. Here's what's happening. Your nervous system is still shut down, but you've learned to override it by staying busy. You work, you clean, you help others, you stay productive. Not because you want to, but because stopping feels dangerous. And the cruelest part? Everyone thinks you're fine. You look successful, you get things done, but inside, you feel hollow. You're achieving, but not feeling. You're moving, but not living. This is freeze disguised as success. And if this is you, I need you to hear this. You are not lazy, you are not broken. You are surviving, but you're not living yet. So let's recap the seven signs you're frozen, not lazy. You're tired but wired. You procrastinate on simple tasks. You feel numb instead of sad. Your body feels heavy. Small stressors overwhelm you. You feel disconnected from your body. You're high-functioning but feel nothing. If you recognized yourself in three or more of these, your nervous system is stuck in freeze. And here's what you need to know. Freeze is not permanent. Your nervous system can thaw. But you can't think your way out of freeze. You can't motivate your way out. You can't discipline your way out. You have to work with your biology, not against it. In my next video, I'm going to show you the exact science-based methods to reset a frozen nervous system. But for now, I want you to do one thing. Stop calling yourself lazy. You're not unmotivated. You're not weak. 
You're not broken. Your nervous system is doing exactly what it was designed to do, keep you alive. And now, it's time to teach it that you're safe enough to thaw. If this video described you, share it with someone who thinks they're lazy too. And click here to watch how to reset a frozen nervous system next. You're not stuck forever. Your body is just waiting for permission to feel safe again.